And now we come to our second pair of fricative consonants, the TH. We're going to start with the unvoiced one, and this time we're going to get that friction, that squeezing of the breath, by putting the tip of the tongue between the top and the bottom teeth, like this. It's such a tiny, tiny sound, isn't it? It is, yes. And you don't have to push the tongue quite so far, uh, only if you're making the sound and you're separating it as a practice. Otherwise, it's just simply Good. Thumb. Thumb. Theatre. Theatre. Bath. Bath. Breath. Breath. Okay. Good. Very easy. But again, this sound doesn't exist in Russian. And I would say this instead of this. Or I would say bath instead of bath. And it's not just in Russian. There are many countries, many languages that do not have a TH sound. I think French don't either. French don't, no. And many Indian, others. Indian have problems with it. They would substitute a T or a D, sometimes mm -hmm. an S or a Z, depending. Right, let's, let's uh, choose uh, one or two little phrases to see if we can practice that. Thick or thin? Thick or thin? Healthy and wealthy. Healthy and wealthy. A thin thread. A thin thread. How can you say, how quickly can you say, 33,000 thrushes? 33,000 thrushes. Right, now this time you don't have to push your tongue so far, otherwise it's almost impossible. You're going 33. <laughs> just, just relax the tongue. 33,000 thrushes. 33,000 thrushes. Can you just say 33 without poking your tongue out quite so much? 33,000 thrushes. It's easier. Yes, it much, is. Much, much easier. Otherwise you take far longer to say, 33, you've got to keep pushing the, mm, the tongue mm. back into the vowels. Yes, and of course, if it follows by the er, it's so difficult to get the tongue from the between the teeth into it the curled up mm -hmm. position. That's why it's very important not to put too much tongue out. Absolutely, and it's a very, very good exercise for you. Oh, very good. Yes, and uh, there should be a little gap between the teeth and between the tongue. You will feel that for the you will air. feel the air pushing, pushing through, scraping it. It's that scraping friction sound that makes the th. Because if you didn't have that little narrow place and you just opened your mouth, you'd get mm. So we need those two speech organs to come very, very close together. Very close. Good. But still well leaving done. a little gap. A tiny, tiny little gap. gap yeah. Because otherwise, you sort of bite your teeth and the, the sound will not come out. No, you'd block it and that yes. would make a completely mm -hmm. different sound. Yes. Good. Okay. So, thank you, Linda. That was easy. Well, okay. Now that you've heard this, how the sound is created, take our, take our books and apps and practice the sound in words, phrases, sentences and verses. And we see you in our next lesson. Bye. Bye-bye.